In this DSLR filmmaking tutorial, I will show you the pros and cons of shooting and editing a film in an anamorphic aspect ratio. A common DSLR camera shoots video in 60x9. What you see in many motion pictures is another aspect ratio, 2.35 to 1. This format is very old and was made for movie theaters and not for the regular TV at home. If you watch a movie that was filmed in an anamorphic format on a 60x9 monitor, you see black bars above and below the actual video. The easiest way to achieve this look is just to put black bars into the video. You can make such a preset in Photoshop and then just put it over the film layer. This effect is called letterboxing. But if you want your movie to really be in a cinemascope or anamorphic format, you can do that in your editing software. After Effects lets you do it really easy. Click on Composition, New Composition and then type in a format like 9020 by 800. Now you can edit the video and it will have the anamorphic ratio. If you are working with Premiere Pro, click on New Project, go to the Sequence Presets, choose your original recording format and then go to General. In the Frame Size field, change 1080 to 800. Now click OK and you can start editing your film in a 1920 by 800 pixel timeline. Make sure to also change the aspect ratio before exporting the video, otherwise you will have the black bars inside the film. Think before you start shooting the film if you want that look, because it might be hard in the editing process to get everything in the frame. Also important is that you make marks on your camera display or external monitor.